Welcome to the No One Cares channel. On tonight's topic, I want to talk about TikTok star Ali Abula Band. And he murdered his wife because he called her cheating. Let's watch the video. 29-year-old Ali Nasser Abulabad stood and showed no emotion as a public defender entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. He's accused of shooting and killing his wife and her friend last Thursday at the Spire San Diego high-rise apartment in East Village. In court, the prosecutor described in graphic detail the fatal injuries. And then he fired at his wife, leaving one gunshot wound in her forehead, again from close range. About 30 friends and family members in court gasped and cried out loud. The prosecutor says 28-year-old Anna Maria Boulevard was trying to end the couple's marriage and she kicked him out on October 18th. But last Thursday, he came back, vandalized the home and installed an app on his daughter's iPad to monitor his wife. He was at his hotel and he heard voices giggling from his phone. And so then he immediately left his hotel to go to the apartment. The second victim has been identified as 29-year-old Rayburn Barron. Meanwhile, the suspect is known on social media as Jin Kid with more than a million followers. He describes himself as a comedian, gamer, and voice impressionist. Jin Kid's Facebook page shows a post last Thursday just hours before... You try mercenary work? Might suit you. Hey! Watch it. <gasps> Something going on? Need something? Need something? Sad situation. Sad situation. This is a beta male simp. Ali was a beta male simp. And a simp is just a man that puts a woman before himself. When you lack emotional discipline by putting a woman before yourself you kill yourself by him killing the ex-wife and her companion he killed himself because now he's going to be locked up and ain't going to tell him what's going to happen to him behind the jail cell he's locked up for life because he lost his cool he put all his emotions and trust into a female. Just like a lot of you guys watching the video. Hey, I've been hurt, man. I've been hurt many a times, but I never thought about ruining my life. I never thought about putting myself in a bad situation to where the people that's depending on me are in a worse situation when I'm not around because of a woman see you don't ever mess up your life your finances because of a woman because she's not going to mess up her finances and her life for you you're never supposed to lose your cool lose your thought process you're supposed to stay focused on your purpose your mindset should always be on your purpose. But his mindset was on seeing what she's doing. Finding out, hey, what she's got going on. Even though she's already told me that she didn't want me. She's already filed for divorce. She's already moved on with her life. Well, that's cool, shawty. I'm going to move on with my life. You go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, pay my child support and do what I got to do. See, that's the masculine move. See, the masculine move is going ahead and facing what's real. See, masculine is being able to cut ties 
and explore other options. Feminine is holding on and being stuck to what you have. Holding on to things that you don't need to hold on to. That's a feminine move. But being masculine is being able to let go. And when you're in marriages, the only power that you have to keep a woman in check is her knowing that you'll leave. That's all. It's a biological thing. Once a woman feels like she has you locked down, once she feels like there's nothing more to see from you and that and that you are all into her. She's going to test you. And if you keep failing tests, she's going to leave. She's going to move on. See, men hope that women stay the same and women hope that men change. And naturally, that doesn't happen. That's why eight out of 10 divorces are filed by the women, because women tend to change over time. They tend to get bored with the same guy. You as a man, you got to know that you as a man, you got to know whenever you meet a woman, she's probably already talking to multiple men and getting dug out by at least one. Now, I'm not saying all women cheat and all women do this, but the biggest majority of them, monkey branch. They're dating one or two guys. They're getting dug out by one while they have another one on on standby. And I know this from experience because I've been on both sides. When men put all their emotions and trust and and mindset into a woman they done for they done a man's mind should be on his purpose and improving and if you're with a woman that doesn't want to be with you you have to let her go you have to move on you cannot be getting overly emotionally attached to women because you're setting yourself up for failure no one's going to not let you down but yourself. And even people let themselves down. You're the only one that you can really depend on 100%. In this world, no one cares. You got to change your mindset. You got to understand that. Now, you're going to have some partners that's with you from the beginning. Your homies that was with you from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to know that even they don't have your interests first. Your, you have to have your interests first. You have to handle your business first. You can't be putting your trust in a woman and putting your interest and in your life second. Because biologically, when women notice that you put them first, that you have them on a pedestal, they treat you as such. And obviously, she lost interest in him. She saw that beta mentality, that old whiny mentality, like, like Ali was showing when he was getting booked in jail, that old whiny, crying type of thought process. See, she saw that. If you murdered two people, bro, there's no reason you, your ass should be crying after you get booked. You just murdered two people, bro. There's no reason to be all emotional. Just go on and face it. You murder two people. Go on, get your time, your life in prison, and move the fuck on. But you over there crying, whining, you know, plead not guilty when the camera saw you go up to the 35th floor and murder uh, her. You shot her in the head. And you shot her companion. You shot the dude that she was having sex with in the jaw. You shot him in the back. Of the head you shot him in the face you shot him in the neck what do you expect see man gotta be focused man you gotta leave it leave these emotional attachments to females alone you can care about them and look out for them but don't trust women lead women she'll respect you for you being on your grind for you um you know, 
focusing on that and not focusing all on her. A woman biologically knows that the horse and carriage won't move unless the horse is moving forward. If the horse is always in the carriage, how's the horse and carriage going to move forward? That's why she left him. She saw the Bela mentality in this man. He was a talented dude. He was a financial alpha. He was very talented, multi-dimensional, multi-stage. But he had a big flaw in his mindset, in his in his social in social intellectual area, he had some deficiencies. He was he had he he lacked emotional discipline. He lacked that masculinity that women desire. And that's why she went to go find it somewhere else. And that's why for you men, you have to let women go. You always have to understand that women keep their male friends. I used to be that guy that let all my female friends go when I get in a relationship. I'd be 100% honest, 100% faithful. Let all my female friends go. Let all my side pieces go thinking that she'll do the same thing. And she never done that. No female I was with cut off all their male friends. No female I was with cut off all their side pieces. They always keep male friends and side pieces in their phone. Now, whether they have sex with them, hey, that's another thing. All women not going to cheat on you like this. But the big majority of them, they are going to keep their options open because it's in their biology. Women are hardwired for survival. So if they recognize weakness in you as a man, if they recognize emotional, uh, a lack of emotional discipline in you as a man, they are going to test you. If you fail it, they're going to look elsewhere. This is a sad situation to where you have a talented guy that was talented in all the areas except for one of the most important areas he will he, he lacked emotional discipline he lacked mindset discipline he lacked emotional uh he lacked relationship knowledge he lacked female nature knowledge he lacked all those things and all those things come from being around masculine man all that information has to be taught to you from either going through hard times or or learning from another man but he was never taught all he was taught was how to be feminine how how to be up under a woman how to put a woman first and the same way that you get a woman is usually the same way that you leave her the same things that she likes about you in the beginning that she says she likes about you will be the same things that she doesn't like about you later on. See, female have unspoken expectations that when they meet you that you're going to be this way and mature to mature to this level. Without even telling you what the hell they expecting from you. They just expect you to know. And when you don't mature from being an emotional deficient man into it and disciplined alpha man they will punish you and she punished him and he didn't make the right decision by leaving he shot and killed her and her friend and now he's done Man, stay focused on your grind. Don't put all your trust in women. Put all your trust in your grind. Save your money. Focus on being there for your kids. See, relationships and friendships may come and go, but your interests always stay. Focus on your interests because they won't ever leave you. Relationships and friendships are temporary. I appreciate y'all tuning in to the No One Cares channel. Comment, like, subscribe, and until you change your mindset, no one cares. No one gives a damn.
She didn't care. She went off and cheated. No one cares. Until you change your mindset, no one cares. But just no one cares. And he wants you to become the best version of yourself. I'm out.